Hey guys, James from Blowviz. Just a quick chat about the Accuracy First speed drop feature on the Applied Ballistics Kestrels here. Obviously, make sure your data profile for your rifle is set up in a tappy. The environment, you've updated it and locked it off. Go down to Accuracy First, enter. The third one down, speed drop, enter. Go down to the bottom, calculate, go. With this rifle, with this ammunition, with a 0.2 mil margin for error, the minimum range for this rifle is 325 meters and the maximum range is 896 meters. What that means is if at the top it gives you the reading or a mil number for mine it's 2.3, you dial under 2.3 mils on your on your elevation turret. What that allows you to do is use the reticle as a BDC within these range brackets here. So at 325 meters I'd hold over 3.2 all the way out to 896 meters I could hold 8.9. Uh, the wind dots don't work anymore what this allows you to do is to shoot quickly without touching the turrets with confidence knowing that at these distances, at 500 meters, you'd hold over five mils. 600 meters at six mil, 640 would be 6.4, only within those brackets, within that margin for error. If you go up to speed drop number, change it to 0 0.1 mils, it recalibrates. Now the minimum is 413, maximum is 817, so it tightened the belt a little bit. Again, what that means is at 413 meters, hold over 4.1. At 800 meters, hold over eight. So this is very different depending on your velocity and your BC, all that kind of stuff, how the bullet flies through the air. Um, this is a pretty angry round. It's going fairly quickly. So the minimum range is a lot further out than a, a 308 with a 168 at two and a half thousand. That'll be a different story altogether. Have a play with this. We've got some targets set up. We've got 699, 550, 497, and 811. We're going to fire a couple of rounds and see how this pans out. So the first target is at 550. We're going to hold over 5.5. We've dialed under 2.4, which is uh, the number that we need for the, our speed drop reticle to start playing the game. So we'll hold over 5.5 mils. A slight breeze from left to right, so we'll use the first tremor dot just as a reference for this one. So 5.5 holding left edge bracket first dot center, and that went where we were aiming, but the elevation was good, so we'll take the wind hold off. And that hit just above the waterline. So we'll do it one more time. Stop it. Five and a half center. And again, that's a good one. We've got an IPSC off to the left at uh, 699, so we'll hold over seven mils. We'll hold, we'll favour left at seven mils. And we impacted perfect elevation just right of centre. So seven favouring left. Done. So now we'll move over to our 500 meter gong. This is 497. It's a quite a small one, but that's okay. So we'll hold five and we'll give it a point one left. And again, you can see that's just slightly low, but this was a point one margin for error. So it's never going to be perfect. So that was a good hit. We'll bring up the uh, tripod, or the bipod a bit, and we'll crack this one. This is at 8.11, so this is right at the edge of our BDC. So 8.1, and we'll hold left edge. That hit low and right. I'll give a bit more wind, come up a bit.
done. So you can see that this works pretty well. It's fairly aggressive and it, it's, it'll get you within range very quickly. You can make a quick correction on the fly and get this done. So with the uh, accuracy first speed drop feature on the Kestrel, muck around with that, play around with it. Obviously, you know, you've got to reset your zero stop on a lot of scopes so you can dial under 2.4 mils, uh, which is quite a lot. So uh, that's something that you'll probably have to work through, um, but it's a good feature and a good thing you can, and you can uh, get that going. Uh, have a good afternoon.